Hello, everyone, and welcome to Season 1, Episode 5 of Lit at the Beach, also known as Literature at the Beach. My name is Leila Nunez. I'm so happy to be back as your host for today. After Women's History Month, we decided to continue this literature podcast because, you know, it was fun. And we wanted to share more amazing books with you guys. Um, So let's get started. For this episode, I will be discussing the book that sparked the environmentalist movement in the 60s and today. Earth Day is coming up April 22nd, so we decided to find a book that screamed Earth. And which better book than Silent Spring? Silent Spring by Rachel Carson exposes the effects of the government's actions and pesticides to reveal how humans have really messed up the environment, to put it like real blunt. Um, I was introduced to this book in my environmental science class in high school, and I knew it was important, but, you know, I never got to reading it. So a little bit about the author. Rachel Carson was a writer and conservationist. She was always connected with the environment and started her career as a marine scientist, which actually led her to write the books The Sea Around Us and The Edge of the Sea, which were published in the 50s. When Silent Spring was published in 1962, she became the talk of the season. Carson spoke out about the use of pesticides and DDT, which was an insecticide that was used widely in agriculture at that time, but it was banned in the 70s as an effect of this book being published. Um, I'm not going to try to pronounce a scientific name because it's going to sound very bad, but you guys can go look, research more about it if you are interested. So Carson writes about how pesticides not only affected plant life, but human and animal life as well. Pesticides like DDT have such detrimental effects on the planet, and although it was meant for pests, it ended up everywhere, in our body systems, our water sources, and even in our food. So DDT caused all sorts of problems, and if you hadn't guessed already, it also destroyed ecosystems because it would end up damaging other important organisms in the same area. So what did I like about the book? It was simple. That's the most important thing to me is how simple it was to understand. Science is not my forte. And going into this, I really expected it to sound like my high school environmental science lecture, but it didn't. Carson did an incredible job by writing Silent Spring in a style that was easy for the general public to understand and learn from. Also, the book was really, really thought provoking. As I was reading, I found myself making connections to today. What I especially liked about the book is how Carson calls humans out. She was not afraid to say, hey, we failed at this. Educate yourselves and fix it. And that's one of my favorite parts about the book. So now I'm going to be reading a passage from Silent Spring. So this passage is on page 359 for me in my book. Um, But if you're looking for it and you have a different page number, it's in the chapter, The Human Price. As the tide of chemicals born of the industrial age has arisen to engulf our environment, a drastic change has come about in the nature of the most serious public health problems. Only yesterday, mankind lived in fear of the scourges of smallpox, cholera, and plague that once swept nations before them. Now, our major concern is no longer with the disease organisms that once were omnipresent. Sanitation, better living conditions, and new drugs have given us a high degree of control over infectious disease. Today, we are concerned with a different kind of hazard that lurks in our environment, a hazard we ourselves have introduced into our world as our modern way of life has evolved. So that was the passage that I believe put everything into perspective about the environmental problem. And it really just explains that we have the power to fix it as we did with disease, but we must act on it now. So if you are interested at all, this book is available at local bookstores, our university library, Barnes and Nobles, Amazon, It's just very accessible and for good reason. It sends a powerful message to society and encourages us to think more about the actions against the planet. And that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Lit at the Beach. Make sure to follow us on our platforms and subscribe to this podcast. As usual, next week we'll have a different host, but I'm so grateful for all of you listeners who are following our podcast. Have a great day. And don't forget, April 22nd is Earth Day. Do something good for the planet. And yes, have a good one. Bye.